Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is 10 awesome or 10 great CEO knives. Now, what is a CEO knife? A CEO knife is a knife that you can kind of put in your pocket, and it, it kind of looks like a pen, kind of. Um, you can carry it very discreetly in your pocket. Now, this one is a little different than most CEO knives, but one thing that's very similar with a lot of CEO style knives is the blade is pretty much completely hidden by or on the inside. This one does come out just a little bit. This is the Boker Kansai. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's very cool. And I think that this is an awesome knife that can fit that, uh, that version. Now it does have this lanyard hole and it did come with a lanyard. Um, I, I removed it. It was just like a, a little loop um, lanyard. It looked kind of cool, but it kind of just got in the way to me. But this inside the pocket, it kind of looks different than what you would think of as a knife. When it's just sitting in the pocket, you have this little loop. Um, you can easily just pull it right out of your pocket and put it back in. The action is multiple actions. You have a regular flipper and good access to the lock bar. Nice and drop shutty. And then you also have the front flipper. They both work extremely well. It is very fidgety and there's like lots of different ways you can kind of deploy this knife because of it having the the multiple different flippers and then the flippers are hidden once you flip it. So now you have just a very thin little blade and it is nice and thin, nice and slicey. It's called smoke washed. Now this comes in so many different versions. We have, they have brass, copper, carbon fiber, wood, uh, G10. This one is the green micarta. And if you look, it has a really cool brass, whoops, a really cool brass um, finish. It's not brass, it is steel, but it is uh, um, anodized somehow to have like a bronzish colored look. And I think it looks really cool. And then the clip, matches the blade with the finish and the clip works very well and out of the pocket the screws are hidden so awesome little knife very very snappy too so it's going to be very useful very easy to to use in an office setting next we have the kaiser dialorme now this one i know it's not quite full CEO style and it doesn't quite replicate a pen in the pocket maybe a little bit but the blade does hide discreetly in the handle so you don't see it and the the flipper is a top flipper which is also really cool so you can use it like a primary or regular flipper or you can use it as a front flipper it is very fidgety this thing is complete fall shut free dropping action Very, very cool. It has a nice little ting to it, too, when it closes. Titanium clip. This one, um, or I think they're both in G10, but there are two different versions of this. Um, G10 steel liners and 20 CV blade steel, which is awesome. The edge retention will last forever, especially in an office setting. You probably, you'll only probably have to sharpen it once a year, if that with, uh, 20 CV blade steel. It will stay nice and sharp for you when you're only doing lightweight type of cutting in an office. Very um, compact, very nice in the hand. You can get a full grip and it does have a nice utility oriented blade shape. Very, very awesome. Very snappy. Very, very smooth too. And also very affordable with the for 20 CV. Next. The Civivi X-Arc. So the Civivi X-Arc is another one, like, you know, all of them very compact. The, the blade is in the handle. You can hardly see the blade. It is a front flipper, and the front flipper works fantastic. Now, they do have a regular flipper version where you have a back flipper right here. This one is the front flipper. The, the, the flipper version is called the Chronic. 
The Exarch is the front flipper. Now we have 9CR Damascus, which Savivi's 9CR Damascus is very, very well done. It's one of the better Damascus, Damascus you will find. Um, there are a lot of crap Damascus, so you know you don't want to trust a lot of them, but Savivi's Damascus is very well done. We have the G10 with a carbon fiber overlay. Steel liners, very, very smooth on the drop. And then we have a nice deep carry clip that will work great in the pocket. Very, very slicey with its hollow ground drop point blade. So this will be very useful, very slicey, and should hold a good edge for quite a bit of time with Savivi's Damascus. Awesome, awesome knife. Next, this one is new to me. The Savivi, or sorry, the Savivi, <laughs> man, I'm all messed up today. We got the Real Steel G-Frame. Now, this is a White Mountain Knives exclusive. You can only get it at White Mountain Knives. We have S35 VN Blade Steel. Now, this one I know isn't quite, it doesn't quite fit this category, but it does hide very nice inside the scale. It is a flipper and the wire clip makes it very, very, you know, like in the pocket, it's very nice in the pocket. Um, you know, it is kind of discreet. Yes, you can kind of tell it's a knife. You do have a little bit poking out, not too much though. It does hide pretty good in the pocket, but the flipper works really good. It is nice and slicey. And for CEO type work, this thing will work really good because even if you did have to like cut down a little bit of recycling, this thing will work great. Um, the flipping action is really good. Um, I did take it apart and get it back to centered. I got the action worked out because when I first unboxed it, it did have a couple issues. I am still working some of them out. But I did talk to some people, um, some of which did not have any of my issues. And then I did talk to one person that did have my issues also. But um, if you watched my unboxing, I did have a couple little issues with this. But I have worked them out pretty good by taking it apart and putting it back together. So... Very, very awesome. Nice access to the lock bar. Not fall shut action, but it is very smooth on the drop. And yeah, titanium frame lock, reversible pocket clip, so you can uh, do it right or left-handed. And S35VN flat ground drop point blade that is nice and thin behind the edge, so great cutter. Next. Next one is... The Tucson TS-169. Now, I know the blade does pop out of this knife quite a bit. But when, when it's in your pocket, all you see is the top of this dome. It, it does resemble kind of a marker shape. Great flipping action. Now, this is a large knife, though. This is not a small knife. So, this is going to be for... The, the people that want a larger style knife. Um, but it does have a great you know um letter opener style shape even though it is a full-size knife that will that is extremely functional very slicey nice and thin behind the edge nice little drop point right up there at the tip for utility cuts nice and drop shutty not fall shut action but it is very drop shutty on its ceramic caged bearings and this is an m390 so we do have a nice super steel on here and it is all titanium, or the frame lock is titanium with a titanium clip and backspacer. I used to have one of these that I uh, had anodized and we gave it away. Very, very snappy action. And yeah, this is going to be very functional. But as I said, this is a large knife or at least a long knife. It's not large. It is long though. But the handle is very, very slim though, as you can see. So next one. Now we get to the real CEOs in a way. We have the CRKT CEO Flipper. So this is the Flipper version. Now, this same knife comes in a thumb stud knife as well. So there are so many different versions of this knife. Um, you, so not only do you have the thumb stud version and the flipper version but you also have lots of different kinds of materials like this one is uh it's a type of g10 but if you look it's very textured it has a little tactile feel to it then it is very smooth on the drop 
The flipping action is really good. The liner on these are so tough to get to. That's my one problem with them. This one has a very cool looking clip in the pocket. I mean, this thing would totally just look like a pen. Now, this one, same thing. I don't like the access to the liner, but, and also with these versions, um, you have, the clip is on the tip down side. So you will have the clip tip down in your pocket, but it is pretty hidden. Now, I don't know why they put the CRKT on the clip. I think that was a huge failure. I like the ones that don't have that because... Then, you know, a lot of people might know that CRKT is a knife if you are trying to keep it a little bit more discreet. Not saying you'd have to. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But then you also have modified ones that you can get titanium scales in. Now, this one is fully modified with the titanium scales. It does still have the same clip on it. So you see the CRKT. Very snappy action with the detent now same thing though very tough to get to that liner i do not like that i did have to modify this one just a little bit from the aftermarket scales i had to cut this out a little bit because it was hitting when it closed it would literally hit right there so i did have to cut the hole out and make it a little bit bigger but it looks really good and it wound up working out really good and after adjusting it and working it out it's back to it was centered. I've been flipping it, but um, it did get pretty centered, and it is extremely smooth on the drop. These are pretty cool. I just, um, you know, and I do understand their function and everything, but the liner is so tight to me. I just I dislike the liner being so tight, but I am very nitpicky about that. I do not like to have to fight to close it, but it is very snappy, very thick geometry though. So it's not going to be a mega slicer, but for, you know, letter opener slash opening packages and cutting things open, it will work just fine. This is the CRKT CEO. And like I said, lots of different versions. Now, Last one, and to me, this is a better version of the CEO, in my opinion. We have the, what the heck's the name of it? <clears throat> now, last one, and in my opinion, this is a better version of the CEO. Now, this also comes in a, you can get it with this leather sheath. Now, there are a ton of options for this you can get these in d2 m390 g10 aluminum all different types of steels I, um I, I haven't had the steels verified although the ceos over here come in 8cr so i can't imagine it'd be much worse than that even with their d2 or like this one is the m390 which it might might be m390 i'm not sure but it, for m390 it is extremely extremely affordable um so the heat treat's probably not the best on it although for the type of knife it is and for the tasks it's going to be doing i'm sure it will be just fine now this one it has a very snappy detent and this one is a titanium frame lock version and they're not very expensive. They're not uh, crazy affordable, but for the materials, this is extremely affordable. Um, for D2 and, or sorry, for titanium and M390, this is extremely affordable. Now they go all the way down to very affordable versions in, like I said, G10 aluminum, D2 steel instead of M390 steel. It did come with an okay edge, um, you know, especially after you strop it a couple times. Access to the lock bar is a lot better than the CEO. It is very smooth on the drop. It is on caged bearings. The flipper is very comfortable, very snappy little guy, and it is very compact and thin in the hand or in the pocket. It will be extremely slim and thin. This is, let me grab a pen really quick. Here is a basic pen. You can see it is very similar to the thickness of a pen. So, uh, yeah. It will be very similar to a pen in your pocket if you were trying to go for that. And, you know, you might even just be looking for this style of knife just because you want to be able to, to slip it into a nice slim slot somewhere where you can have a nice, 
you know, because this is long, but a nice little long blade that's that's going to be functional. So, and you can use it for slicing things. Not the best geometry, although it will work just fine, you know, for lightweight slicing tasks and for opening things up, it will work great. So awesome, awesome knife for, you know, for a CEO style uh, knife. I mean, I think this is way better than the CEO, in my opinion. Um, it's definitely better with unlocking and we see right here we have the ceo next to it it actually has a little bit better uh about the same eh, it has a little bit better geometry seeing that it is a full flat but yeah very very it's a little bit slimmer but very very similar just i just don't struggle with the lock bar with this one this one's a lot easier to get to and very very smooth on the drop and extremely snappy so there you guys go i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace